horses. They're the most forgiving creature in the world. They get imposed on and, and they accept it and forgive us. They become a good willing partner in spite of our overbearingness and forcefulness. They face me, back up a step or two. I think horses and I think cattle also deserve the same respect and consideration from us that we would show to our elders and it's not that we can't have them doing some things for us and, and really helping us out but we can still be considerate in the way we ask for those things I'm going to ask him to walk off here now he kind of hurried off that was not what I asked for there and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get critical of him because he really thought he was doing what I asked him there. But that's my fault, it's not the horses. As far as I'm concerned, that horse is 100% right, 100% of the time. In his mind he is. And that's what's important. That, that horse that kicked me in the face, he thought he was doing the right thing. He thought that was what he needed to do to survive he was right if he bucks me off and runs over me by golly it's because of something I did or else it's because of something I didn't do it didn't have anything to do with him he didn't write the book he has to live by it but he didn't write it This country just fills me, and I've never felt as strongly about any place else. tied to this country for reasons that are hard to even explain. But when that thunderstorm brings the scent of the grease wood on the breeze, it's just something that's exhilarating and something I don't get anywhere else. It's been 10 years since I've been up here. Far too long. Far too long. I think a place piece of country in a way is a lot like a soulmate, a person who is just right for you in every way. That soulmate fills you in ways that no one else could, with no conscious effort. And that's what this place does for me. A few years ago, I read a, a quote, I think it was Wallace Stegner, who said, uh, a place is just a place. 
until a poet has been there. And I thought about that statement quite a lot over the years and and uh, to me the place is the poetry. The place doesn't need a poet to uh, to tell about it. But maybe he wasn't entirely wrong because I think maybe uh, it takes a poet, at least a poet at heart, to really appreciate a country, to really hear what the country is saying to him. And uh, this country speaks poetry to me. I've tried to write poetry about this place, this, this country. My efforts seem futile because this place is so special and so magical that I just can't seem to quite find the words. But I wrote this piece about 15 years ago and in an attempt to uh, just put something down about this country and the way I feel. We cannot say what drew us here, what piper's flute, what siren's song. In younger days, another year, when sun was low and shadows long, her great high deserts lured us on. We were but boys when we rode in to live the life and chase the dawn till evening sun shone down on men. Nature was our friend and foe. She dealt us pain. She brought us bliss. Our mother earth we came to know was nurturer and nemesis. Our cattle graze her hills and draws. Her august grain has ripened now. For horseback men with horseback laws, may she be saved from park and plow. We've seen her change since we rode in, have read her pages as they've turned, and worn our stirrup leathers thin. We fear the lessons we have learned. What hands would tear this land apart? We are not all what we appear. We can't afford the careless heart that beat within the pioneer. And red man's wisdom has been cast aside as savage. Yet we see the noble savage doubtless passed much closer to his earth than we. Are we her stewards, foes, or friends? And who could better serve the earth? We throw these questions to the winds and ride toward answers, timely birth.